Hi, my name is Heather. Thank you so much for joining me for today's practice. We will be practicing a restorative yoga practice. As you can see here, I have lots of props that we're going to be using and utilizing today. We have two blankets, two blocks, a bolster, or if you don't have a bolster like me, we have a extra large, very firm uh, memory foam pillow. And of course we have our folding chair. If you don't have a bolster, um, you can use a pillow, um, a couch cushion or anything kind of like that to support your practice today. So take your time getting set up with your supplies, your accessories, and we'll get started. So our first shape of the day, we're going to be coming into a reclined, a supported pose. And so you're going to take your two blocks, one on the highest setting and the other just in front of it on the middle setting here. Now we're going to see how this works with my big pillow. Um, but you're going to scoot your hips to the very edge of the pillow or the bolster, straighten your legs, and allow your body, your upper torso, to gently lie back onto the blocks and bolster uh, pyramid you have set up. This is also a great time to invite in your blankets. You can take one blanket onto each side to give your hands a little bit of a rest to melt onto the floor. And take your time getting everything set up nice and secure. And just allow your body to melt over the blocks and the bolster pyramid. Finding a full body release.
gently bring your awareness back to your body. With a longer inhale to gently waken back up. Slowly blink your eyes open just a little bit and very gently start to lift yourself up, back up to seated here, taking your time. And then we'll make a couple of adjustments here, bringing our feet onto the yoga mat and then a blanket in between the knees and bring both knees over to the right hand side first. And bringing the side of your hip to the base of your block and bolster pyramid. You maybe need to make some adjustments uh, to your pyramid here. And then you're going to scoot your hips toward the base of the pyramid and then gently drape your torso over the pyramid, coming into a little bit of a reclined uh, supported twist. Taking your time to get yourself set up. Twisting your legs over to the right and then draping your torso over the bolster. You might need to make some adjustments to your pyramid. So take that time to make any adjustments you need to get the most support. And just allow your body to relax, bring your awareness back to your breath, long deep breaths in, and long deep breaths out.
Bring some awareness back to the breath. Slowly awaken the body. And blink your eyes open. And gently press into your hands to lift yourself back to seated. Take your time. There's no rush. And then we'll slowly move to the opposite side. So bring your knees back up to center. Face the bottom of your mat with your hips. And bring the blanket in between the knees. And slowly drop the, the knees over to the left-hand side. Scooch the hips over to where the left side hip is at the base of your block and bolster pyramid. You might need to make some adjustments to the blocks. Or the bolster for the side. So take your time to set up your pyramid in a way that feels supported and sturdy. And then we'll move to the other side. So with the knees stacked on top of each other, blanket in between, the left side of the hip is scooched to the base of the bolster block pyramid. Gently twist your torso towards the left and then drape your torso over the block and bolster. Coming into a reclined supported twist. Take whatever time that you need to get set up for success and stability here. And then find that relaxation. Coming back to the breath. Coming back to peacefulness. Back to stillness.
Slowly bring your attention back to your breath. Deepen your inhales. And on your exhale, gently blink your eyes open and press into the hands to lift yourself back up to seated. You can twist your hips towards the bottom of your mat, coming back to an easy seat. Take a second here to allow your spine to come back to center. Before we set ourselves up for the next shape. So the next shape, we're going to come into a reclined butterfly. This time, we're going to remove both blocks and set them over to the side. Taking your bolster or pillow long ways, lengthwise, along the length of your mat. Scooching your hips to the base of the bolster. taking the soles of your feet to touch, and then bring in the one of your blankets. Take the blanket and open it up, and we will roll it long ways to where we get this nice long roll and then set the middle of the roll on top of the feet and then wrap the ends of the roll around the bottom of the ankles. And this will give your ankles a little bit of support and a little bit of pressure pressing in in this butterfly shape. So, if you're feeling a little chilly or if you'd like a little bit of extra weight, you can unfold your other blanket and fold it half ways. And then half ways again. And then you can place that over your lower abdomen, your thighs, or unroll it all the way to cover your whole body. As you find that comfortable place with your blanket, allow your body to rest back onto the bolster or the pillow. Make any necessary adjustments to your props and support to allow yourself to get just a little bit more comfortable. You can even take your arms overhead or into cactus arms or arms all the way out to a T. Yogi's choice. And as you breathe, allow your body to relax. Gently melting into the floor beneath you. Fully supported by your bolsters and blankets. Allowing the cares and worries of the day to roll off like water off a duck's back.
gently begin to deepen your breath. Bringing some awareness back to your body. And slowly blink your eyes open. And if your arms were outstretched, bring your elbows underneath towards your hips. Maybe even grab onto the sides of your yoga mat. And use that to gently pull yourself up back to a seated position. Take your time moving slowly and with grace. If you used a blanket to cover yourself up to keep you warm, you can fold that blanket back up and we'll set it over to the side. Unravel Unravel your blanket from your ankles and set that over to the side as well. Outstretch the legs. And take them over to the side. Or take your blanket to the side. Outstretch the legs. Move your supplies, your accessories, over to the side here. We're going to come into our next shape. And this will be incorporating the use of the chair. Um, just to give yourself a little bit more lift. If you feel comfortable taking a wide leg stance... You can move your bolster to the side as well. If you feel comfortable taking a wide leg seated stance here, you can and do have the option to set up a little pyramid with your blocks and then simply fold over the blocks that way. You can even set the pyramid up to uh, be long ways in front of you. We'll set this up this way. Bringing the bolster right into the belly um, and then gently folding over that, like that ways. Um, but for this practice, we're going to be utilizing the use of our chair. So let's bring the chair into play here. So we're going to scoot the chair onto the yoga mat. And this will help to give it a little bit of um, grip. So it's not sliding away from us. And since the camera is facing at a little bit of an angle, I'm going to place the chair to a little bit of an angle. This chair is a cold plastic, so I'm going to place a blanket over the chair so I have something nice and soft to lie on. Moving my other props to the side, I'm going to come into a wide leg stance, a wide leg seat. And this doesn't have to be as wide as possible. It can be as wide as feels good for your body today. Then I'm going to scoot the chair closer to me. And then what I can do also is take my hands and layer them on top of each other, creating a little pillow for my forehead. And then I'm just going to hinge right from my hips and fold forward and then place my forehead onto the base of the chair, the seat of the chair. Allow your body to relax, fully supported by the chair or by the blocks and bolsters and the earth beneath you. Coming back to your breath. 
Coming back to the long, deep inhales. And even longer exhales. If you turned your head one direction 
in this wide leg seated forward fold. Turn your head the opposite direction to bring some equanimity into your neck and spine. And then come back to stillness. Bring your forehead back to center, lying on the pillow of your hands. And then gently rock your head from the left to the right. And bring in a little bit deeper of a breath. And then slowly blink your eyes open, lift your head, and come back to a seated position. From here, you can push your chair away a little bit, leaving the blanket there. 
we will set up for our last couple of shapes here. Now, Yogi's choice on this next option. So next option would be to bring both legs on top of the chair. And you'll need to scooch your hips towards the base or the legs of the chair. If you need a little bit of extra height here, you can add in a folded blanket. So you can take your folded blanket and place it right underneath where your hips would be. So let's fold that blanket up now, placing that right where our hips are going to be. You can bring in the bolster if you'd like, laying it perpendicular to your mat right where the shoulder blades would be. So we're really opening up the chest here. So take your time to shimmy yourself into position. Might look a little awkward, but that's okay. You can take the legs onto a chair if you want to. If you don't have a chair for this particular practice, a bolster and two blocks is perfectly fine. Very similar, if not exactly the same way that we set up previously as an option for the wide leg fold. So two blocks, creating a little stand here, and then placing your bolster on top. Also a great option for lifting the legs up and then lying backward. So Yogi's choice on this one, you can do whatever uh, support feels best for your body today. Uh, we wanna make this accessible for everyone to be able to experience this type of shape with whatever props that they have available. You can reach down with the hands to grab the legs of the chair to bring it a little bit closer to you if you need to. Take some time to make any adjustments you might need to your support. And since my head is laying back a little bit, I am going to take a block underneath the head for a little bit of extra support. So in this shape, you can take hands out to a T. You can take cactus arms. Whichever feels best for your body today. Find the shape that feels the best, the support that feels the best. Make any adjustments that you need to. Get those little scratches and itches out. And then we will come back to stillness.
invite a deeper breath, bringing some awareness back into your body. Gently open your eyes. And if your legs were up on a chair, you can actually just kick the chair back, slowly sliding the chair away from you. And then the easiest way is to roll over onto your side using your elbow and other hand, opposite hand, to push yourself back up to seated. Take a moment here. And then let's remove any bolsters or blocks, props that we use to set ourselves up for that last shape and we're going to set ourselves up for our final shape so let's get that going my favorite way to experience shavasana is with a bolster under the knees very similar to the previous shape we just experienced together so you can take a bolster underneath the knees you can take a rolled up blanket um, underneath the, the knees if you'd like, or you could take nothing, yogi's choice. I'm also going to take a blanket right underneath of my uh, torso here. So I'm going to bring it towards the base of my hips, and then I'll lay over that. I'm also a little bit chilly, so I'm going to unfold my blanket and then drape that over my body. Taking a second here to lie all the way down and actually the blanket under my torso does not feel good and so I'm going to be removing that. So that's an, an um, invitation for you to do the same. If any blocks or support or props just do not work for you or are not feeling great, you have the invitation, the authority, to remove anything that is not serving you. So lying back in our Shavasana shape, rolling the shoulder blades underneath of you, maybe snaking the spine down towards your feet, elongating the body. tucking the arms by your sides, or if you're really feeling like taking up space in your yoga class, in this space in your life, you can take it to a star pose shape, taking the arms overhead, taking the legs out wide, really taking up space on your mat, so yogi's choice on Shavasana shape. Find the shape that works best for you. And then we'll settle into stillness.
Invite a deeper breath here. Slowly bringing awareness back to your body. And with eyes still closed, gently begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Gently awakening the body. If it feels good, you can take both arms overhead, giving yourself a nice, big, good morning type of stretch, lengthening from head to toe. And then maybe if it feels good, you can bring the knees into the chest, giving yourself a great big hug. Maybe even saying thank you to yourself for making it to your yoga mat for practice today. For filling your cup. As you feel ready, taking your time. There is no rush. Slowly begin to roll over to your preferred side. Maybe using your bottom arm as a pillow, coming into the fetal position. Giving your body one last moment of enjoyness, of peace. And when you're ready to awaken, renewed and refreshed, you can press into your hands, bringing yourself up to a nice seated position, taking your time. Moving any props out of your way. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. Thank you so much for joining me for this lovely restorative yoga practice. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be filled with love. Namaste.